in the NFC, Philly, we're on that. Minnesota, yeah. you're going to say they're going to take the NFC North, right? I think you're you're you yes. just kind of we're alluded. We're going to win the division, right? We're going to win the division. Now we got two other, you know, <laughs> division divisions there, and we haven't talked about this. And I want to talk about this because I've talked about you when I've talked about this subject. Do you think Seattle? I want you to talk about Seattle in general. I want you to talk about Geno Smith. I used you as a big jump ball point early in the year to just go and, you know, I'm a believer in Geno, always liked him, felt like he got a bad rap. And then I've always furthered the conversation that, you know, you and, and my brother Matt, you used to see him and throw with him. And you were always uh, amazed and telling me how big time his arm was. And he's a better athlete than you think when you see him in person and all of that. So. You know, one, can the Seahawks hang on to win that division? Do you do that? And then, two, just give me your little spiel about the Seahawks and what you like you're, you're seeing from, from Big Geno so far. Well, you know, first I'll just go to this. You love Kenneth Walker coming out. I mean, you even talked him up more than I liked him or whatever, and he's lived up to every bit of that. So that that kind of makes – that's putting them in that conversation yeah. where you got to take them seriously. Geno Smith, you know, just watching through the years and everything, I always thought he had the talent. He was immature with the Jets. That didn't work. Goes to the Giants. The Giants really liked him. Right. You know, I like what he did. In, you know, he what did he say? Ben McAdoo and Jerry Reese right. really believed in me. I thought that was pretty cool for him to say. But I know Pete Carroll, even before this year, when Russell was out there, he had made some comments. I saw him that Gino was, you know, in practice, is he's awesome. So, but, you know, he can't go overboard because he's not playing in the games. I think last year when he played in those games, he showed a lot of people what he had, and I think that's the reason the 49ers, 49ers the Seahawks didn't go out there and try to acquire. I mean, they're watching preseason and before the preseason started, every quarterback in the NFL is going to Seattle. Yeah, you know, That's right, all I heard. Right. And I just go, Drew Locke, I had, a little, I had faith in him too, but, man, he, I lost it in that last preseason game, that's for sure. Yeah. But, I thought Geno did everything right in preseason, managed games, good decisions. He's big. He can run. He's the modern-day guy, Christopher. I mean, we don't think about him running, but he's running out there. A ton. And he's he, running, buying time. Uh, yep. And yep. I don't know. I think I've watched every throw of his this year. I don't think he's throwing one ball. It's not a perfect spiral. Yeah, I know. And he has not been off target much either. And, <laughs> you know, I read into everything. I loved it. Was it two weeks ago when they were leaving the field? Pete Carroll had his arm around him. You know, and man, Pete Carroll, he he's he gets it emotional. Up. It's yeah. over the top, man. But yeah. it's 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 great. And I tell you, if you're on that team and you're rolling or you're playing well, he's the man to be coaching. That's for sure. Yeah, that's but, right. But but again, the practice all the time, and they continuously keep talking about Geno Smith. I've been on him the whole year. And I had faith in him in the preseason. And you know, I love this. Well, how, why would you think those things? Well, I, I, I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> I mean, why am I going to think it? it? We, You and I know, and most people know, that he has a chance just from the physical talent ability. Right. So that in itself is worth taking a risk with. Yeah, exactly right. So, exactly right. Yeah. Let alone we knew just from other people that he loves football. We could see it from himself just in, in what you talk about working out with him and how he approached it. And he's he's smart. He's smart. I mean, he, he, he loves the game. He can work at it and he can pick up an offense. So, uh, yeah, and then you add in the talent like you're talking about and you go, why couldn't it work? That's for sure. Now, can it work? Do you think they can hang on to the NFC West, or do you think the 49ers walk them down before all said and done? And do you think the Seahawks stay in the, the playoff conversation here throughout the year? I think they'll be able to stay into it for many reasons. Yeah. You know, one, you got to give John Schneider a, a, a big plus. The draft, they crushed it. I mean, they literally crushed it. And I, I don't know what else to say. And even get the free agent, um, Uchenna Owusu. He's, you know, he's having a good year too. So every move they made during the offseason has really panned out for them. And can they ha can they hold the 49ers off? A yes or no answer, I'm going to say no. Right. Um, I'm just – that's – but the 49ers – 49ers, sorry. The Seahawks, once again, this past week, I said, man, the Giants, this is going to be a tough matchup for Seattle. And I took the Giants to win. But as I watched the game, I went, wow, I don't know if the Giants really ever had a chance no. to get this done. 
They no. even got the breaks and still couldn't couldn't take care of it. So that told me something too about Seattle. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you too. If, if you made me pick, I'm going to go 49ers. Do walk them down and win the NFC West. But I think Seattle is going to be in the playoff conversation. And there's a, there's a part of me that really wants to say they're going to be in the playoffs all together. I do. I, first off, I, I think the defense has got a little creativity and toughness yes. to it this year. And we're not seeing them do dumb shit like we saw the last few years <laughs> where you just were like, wait, no one covered this guy. He's running for a touchdown. Where's anybody in the screen? You know, they got some guys on the outside and Michael Jackson and this Tariq Woolen who can cover some people. Gosh. And Diggs is a great safety. And, yeah. you know, Brooks at linebacker is good. And then you said it, like, Uchena Nuosu is probably their star up front, but they got a lot of good up front. It's a lot of good. It's a lot of like, oh, hey, he's pretty good. You don't ever look at any of them and go, well, he stinks and he's horrible. Whoa, he's a liability. They got a little depth and they're solid across there. And then I think you add that with the explosive ability on offense and Geno. Uh, I'm well, with you. Yeah. I'm with you there. They got difference makers. Right now, the running back, the quarterback, uh, the offensive line, you know, hey, they're a big team too. Just yeah. watch them on TV. They look big. I thought they made the Giants. Maybe it was the uniforms. I go, wow, they're a lot bigger than the Giants, and the Giants are not small by any means. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really been impressive. And, of course, running the ball now, and with those two receivers, and Geno not afraid to throw it anywhere, <laughs> just gives you a lot of hope. I, <clears throat> I root for teams. We all root for teams for many reasons. I'm going to root for Seattle. I hope they make the playoffs. Just to get in the playoffs, it'll be, I think that'll be a great accomplishment I was on Inside the NFL last night, and they showed a graphic how many what Vegas had wins and losses right. for the year. They had Seattle at five and a half. Now I'm I'm not lying. During the summer, I went, "Well, hell, I'd bet the under." Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's that's kind of what I thought. And then preseason football was good. Still didn't believe, but as the years gone on, more and more, I'm a believer. Yeah. So. Well, uh, producer Pete's in my ear, and he's going, "I am one of those that bet the under." So he's lost some money. And, oh. <laughs> and uh, hey, that'll take well, that'll me. Teach you to bet. Yeah. Seriously. Well, uh, speaking of betting, okay, we're gonna go to a little MGM, a little bet MGM read here. All right. Oh. The action never stops at Bet MGM. Sign up now using bonus code Sims, and your first wager is risk free up to one thousand dollars. So say you bet a hundred dollars on the Seahawks to win the NFC West if you win you'll get three hundred dollars but if you lose you will still get a hundred dollars worth of free bets simply download the bet MGM app today or go to betmgm.com and enter bonus code sims to make your first wager risk-free up to one thousand dollars all right so I hope everybody out there likes that we gave them some of our love the division leaders teams to watch out for I'm with you. If you made me sit here right now and go, okay, yeah, the 49ers win the West. Seattle gets bumped down, right, at some point there. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they ended up, you know, maybe knocking the Giants out of the playoffs because they're, you know, tiebreaker there either way. But I'm with you too, Dad. I'm rooting for the Seahawks. It's, the one, to me, one of the best stories in football this year. It's, right. it's showing, one, that you don't have to have a top-five pick at quarterback to win a game. You can actually build a team and do it. Like, we don't have to always have Mahomes or Josh Allen. So I love that aspect. And, yeah, how could you not love that with the Russell Wilson drama and all that? So I'm, I'm with you there. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.